Greetings everybody, welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy plays Enter the Gungeon. And we haven't played this game in a hard while. I mean I haven't, maybe you have, I don't know. I think I played this game for the last time on a stream. Yeah, on a stream several months ago now. Damn, it has been quite a while. Has been quite a while indeed. We can actually buy something in here. Roll bump and start bullets. We don't have enough materials for that. Okay, fine. Just go in here, have ourselves a good time. And when we come back, we're gonna buy those start bullets. Because having more good passive items in the rotation is always a fun thing to have. Now, I am happy that apparently I still know more or less how the controls work. Because there was no preparation that went into me playing this game again. I just jumped straight back in, hoping for the best. Enter the Gungeon is a hard game. It is a very, very hard game, so I would be very happy if we were to make it far. But I don't think that we will make it very, very far. Well, let's wait and see. One has just started. So far, so good. All is nice. These guys die like they should. And the shopkeeper has a backpack. I'm not that interested in the backpack, I gotta say. And there was nothing else of particular interest for me. That guy actually almost hit me. Because I decided to come close to him in a gunfight, which was not the play to make. He has a free chest, though. And we get a key, and that is a portable table device, right? Make some random tables pop in. Don't think we're gonna need that one, but thanks anyway. I'm gonna open this one up right now. The Magnum. Five shots or a six, I can't remember that either. But one quick glance to the right of my screen, it says that it has six shots. Maybe it can sometimes only have five shots. I've gotta say, it would be kinda funny. But I doubt that. Those quote unquote regular guns, normal guns, real life guns, they're usually. Well, exactly that. Fairly normal, fairly regular, fairly straightforward. It's mostly the guns that reference some kind of other game that end up getting super, super wacky in everything they do represent. Now, from you, I'm not taking any garbage today. Feels good to shoot with this thing, though. Bullets feel nice, fast, and snappy. Damage is not too much better, though, but hey, we take what we can get. And we found our boss. Now let's fight him right off the bat. Ah, it had to be you! Had to be you, right? That's the run boss I hate to fight in the, uh, the first occasion. The bullet runs usually very, very nice and fun to fight. Pretty easy, too. There's the killing go, let's go. And the king... Well, he's similar at the very least. Doesn't make too much of a mess of things. There's a lot of greenery in the way. A lot of greenery in the way. We are not gonna screw around with that. I feel like I would be very, very happy if this game had something. I almost got to play that. Something like a movement speed increase going on in here. That is a bit easier to get. This guy would feel so easy to fight then. I can't complain. I can't complain because we made good work out of him. Got an extra HP. And the directional pet. I'm very sure there were some cheats you can do with that. But I actually don't know how you would go about that. Kill that thing. Got it. Got some extra armor. Armors. Extra important when you play as the Marine because then you get that helmet on top of your head. What does the helmet do? Absolutely nothing. It's all about style. But style is of course the most important. The most important thing to ever worry about this game. 
<laughs> Every now and then, you may notice that I go a little bit silent. And the reason for that is surprisingly simple. I'm playing with guns, thus my head is kind of wired towards trying to fire in rhythms. Even though I really don't need to. Even though I really, really don't need to. Because we are not playing bullets per minute right now. Playing Enter the Gungeon. There are some music-based weapons in this game. But we ain't got any of them. So far, so good. That should be the last chest of the floor. It's a brown one. I'm still gonna open it, though. And you know what? It was well worth it. It was well worth it. Uh... Okay, I had to check which button I have to use to use my current active item. We found it. And look at that, we actually got the key back. Makes me feel very nice about myself. And that was... Was it double vision or was that ball of friendship? I think it's double vision. Uh, yeah, double vision. Double vision is extra good because it gives me a lot of extra damage. And, okay, spacebar is the one that I have to push in order to activate my item. Let's be smart and not do that constantly. Now, new floor, new luck. HP wise, we look stellar. We got a good active item. And weapon wise, uh, it could be better. It could be much worse too. Ooh. Don't trust these guys. And I fell. <laughs> that was not the play to make there. That was not the play at all. Alright, got you out. We lost some armor there. I almost stepped into that. Almost. Can we make that? Yes, we can. Easy money. And we found another shopkeeper up in here as well. There is silver bullets. I think silver bullets were super strong against cursed enemies. And I think they also had a general damage up. Was that something? Also somewhat against bosses. Yeah, I knew there was something going on there. So... Extra strong damage against cursed enemies. We don't have any curse going on just yet. That may change, though. We shall see. If we see the right items. Or if we, you know... If I could see it on myself to just look up how you can steal the defense. Which I'm not going to, because I... Don't feel like it. We could just go and steal some items from the shop, which also ends up cursing us. Which in turn would then allow us to deal more damage to silver bullets every now and then. But here's another point to consider. The extra damage we would deal would be immediately be mitigated by... The fact that cursed enemies have a whole lot more HP than usual, so... Effectively, there wouldn't be that much to be gained if we tried extra hard to get there unnaturally. Ooh. Just use my double vision here because I don't trust this setup. And we got an extra blank in here. I've played enough Hades for me to become utterly distrustful of any sort of trappery. That's pretty good though. That is... what is that? Baby good mimic, imitation love. What does that do? What does that do? Yeah, okay. I apparently unlocked something in between at some point. Nice. This abandoned baby mimic misses its siblings and imprints on the first follower it sees. Okay. So I make a wild guess and say that it will do something related to mimics. I guess that was probably very, very obvious to everyone. Maybe it will make more mimics appear. Or when Mimics appear, it will kind of notify me, but that would be a pretty, pretty weak effect as a standalone thing. I forgot what those things were all about. Got shot in the face. I remember that you need to do something with these in order to maybe unlock a character. But I forgot the details. I think you just have to stand in it for a while. Maybe. I oh, will cross the bridge another time. I don't know how much Gungeon I will play in the long run. 
probably not gonna be a regular thing unless you guys absolutely mega love it, then I will consider it. Ooh. That guy always makes me feel very, very unsecure about myself. But it all worked out. Gotcha, baby. But I try to weave in the occasional episode at the very, very least. Ah, the brown chest. Now, we don't have a key for that one, but we can't afford to just go and buy one. A lot of people are like, ah, brown chest, usually not worth it. I am all about the brown chest, and you know what? That one, just as the last one, just paid for itself. So now I feel extra smart. And we can now shoot t-shirts at our enemies. Which is actually gonna be pretty, pretty nice overall. Because those t-shirts, they have a pretty, pretty mean knockback to them. So right now, then we can use this to just knock some enemies into chasms in the floor. And that is gonna just be helpful, because then we don't have to deal with these jokers anymore. There's a sniper. I saw you, baby. Now that one, of course, just by virtue of the fact that he was sitting there in the corner, he was not exactly easy to push into that. Ooh, more snipers. All the snipers. Ooh. Not a fan of snipers, not at all. We got one out. Wait here, be safe. We're good. And we got it. T-shirt gonna be. Oh, look at that. That's actually the perfect scenario for us. There you go. Perfect. These guys are actually kind of annoying to fight all the way. Around. We're good. We're great. So far, so good. I was actually sure I would get hit in that room, but I'm very happy that I didn't. Let's fight a bit more in here first. Maybe we can at least get a charge on our active item first. But then again, I think we actually already found all of our item rooms, right? Ah! Here's what happens. I keep pressing space, thinking that's my dodge roll. It's not my dodge roll. My dodge roll is on goddamn right click. Ah, all the goddamn time. Okay, we actually have seen everything in here, so we should just leave now. We probably have to make a quick switch in terms of weaponry in between, because we do not have a lot of ammo. But that's okay. I actually don't know which button I need to press in order to fast forward that animation. I also don't really mind it, because those animations are actually pretty, pretty cool. Ah, uh, I don't trust that. Oh yeah, we're empty. We're empty. T-shirt gun. We're good, we're good, there you are. Oh, he's healing himself, though. That's something to be mindful about. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Quick active item, we made it. Flawless again, too. Ooh, we are doing pretty okay for ourselves, I might say so. Much better than I thought we would. Daruma. I think the rumor is a free blank you get every now and then, is that right? Yeah, it should be. It should be. You know what? Let's actually take it. Take it for a right. Having more blanks is never a bad thing. Who knows? Maybe that's actually gonna find us a secret room in between. I certainly would like to see that. And now for the third floor, the black powder mine. I'm actually wondering, have we already killed the pass with the marine? I'm actually not sure. I am actually not sure. I know we killed the pass with someone at some point. I know we had one very, very good one where we were able to get all the bullet fragments very, very efficiently. But I forgot if we then also unlock the path of someone. We probably have. But I think it wasn't... I think it was not the Marine. 
The Marie is actually one of my favorite characters to play as. But I think it wasn't the Marie. Come on. Don't stand behind the table. Stand where I can shoot you. There. That wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't. Oh, that's pretty, pretty bad, though. Ooh, that was bad. That was extra bad. Okay, so I saw my active item actually shine in some way, shape, or form. Okay, that worked. So, when I do some kind of condition, then I can use the rumor for a free blank. Ah, I got hit by that guy so often. Also, my little mimic is actually pretty, pretty offensive, I gotta say. In all the right ways. He's attacking my foes on occasion, which I do like. Which I do condone. As long as he doesn't attack me, I condone everything he does. So far, so good. Okay, we got the Daruma again. And we actually have a key for this too. The Demon Hat. That is going to set our enemies on fire and is a beam weapon of memory serves. Probably has some kind of synergy going on as well, if we can find it. Oh, hello there. Six chamber batch. Both of these are very pretty, pretty good. I wonder if there's a synergy going on with Pitchfork. I think yes. If you pick the Pitchfork up, then the Demon Head will just float around as I use it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Hail Satan. <laughs> Hilarious. Hang on a second. Okay, maybe I was I was thinking about another synergy, but we still have a synergy, so that's good enough for me. And I'm pretty sure the fireballs have a different color than usual. I think they were always able to pierce, so that's not a change. But for the moment, we're going to assume that it is an improvement. I'm pretty sure six chambers is a pretty pretty good item as well, but so got to help me, I absolutely forgot what it does. I think I just never really saw it all. Also, there's a curse enemy. Because we bought that cursed item, we can finally benefit from our silver bullets here. Okay, that guy just ducked himself in. Like the douche that he is. But it's fine. Nothing, nothing here. And this is just a small way. We'll see. If we will get enough shells for that item, we're gonna buy it. If not, then so be it. Hello, hello. What was the deal with this one? Shrine for a forgotten bullet who laid down his arms, will you? I think if I lay down a weapon, this will heal me back to full. We could. But why bother? Ooh. I mean, there's also another thing we could do. We could do the smart thing, the arguably, inarguably smart thing. Just look up how we can steal with the D-pad and just grab an item. Maybe I'm also just absolutely confusing and items, and the item isn't that good. I would conf that would surprise me, because I'm pretty sure it is a good item. Ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. What do we do? Well, first of all, we're gonna hope that these jokers over here will draw plenty of money for us. That looks good. There's also our regular shop up in here. We're gonna check that one out as well. He has a key. What is that? The Devolver. I'm actually not that big of a fan of the Devolver, I gotta say. Ooh! Got stuck there on the ground for a hot moment. There's that one bird left. Should be dying to the fire. Are you gonna die to the fire? Yes, you are. My dear darling friend, yes, you are. Ooh. Man over here almost got me. Almost, but not quite. Jump through that. Found the boss. Let's go find the boss then. Oh, it's you!
I actually don't know which button I need to press in order to fast forward this. It shouldn't be that hard. But apparently it is. Yo, Mimic Friend. Mimic Friend, Mimic Friend. I need you to give me the greatest performance of your lifetime. Okay, that was my rumor blank. We are not dealing that much da- Oh my god. We are not dealing that much damage to the guy. And that hit me so much for my flawless clears in here. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> it, happened. it happened again. I just kept spamming spacebar. Expecting for a dodge roll to happen. But it never was meant to be. Okay, there's my demon hat. Where's the thing? There it is. Setting on fire. Setting on fire. There's my rumor again. The rumor. You know what? Done. Almost done. We gotcha. Lost quite a bit of HP, but we can earn a lot of that in a moment. And my man also gave me a lot of money, so that's nice. Thanks for this. Explosive rounds. I gotta say, that sounds promising. No HP tank over here, though. That does hurt me a little bit. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay, go over here. We still have one more chest room to find. And maybe some kind of enemy will have it in his heart to drop us some enemy item. Okay, I think this item... If memory serves, this item was not piercing like that before. That seems pretty, pretty new to me. Maybe that's part of the synergy, I don't know. Hey there. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I hear you guys die by the fire. I hear ya. I hear ya. And I absolutely enjoy that. That guy just fell over. And there you go. These guys not giving me any money though. Oh, there it is. Are we lacking it? Okay, first of all, I think we are lacking exactly one shell to buy the item for the Cursed Girl. Let me double check, just to make sure. I think it was 63 shells. It is 63 shells. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look how to steal items with the D-pad. I'm gonna do it. Uh, Gungeon, D-pad, directional pad. There we have it. Okay, let me, let me look that up. Um... The inputs to make special shots are based on famous special attacks. Okay, that's good to know. Pressing down, then right, then fire will cause the gun to sh fire fireballs. That's cute. Quick left, then left again. Then fire will cause the gun to fire a grappling gun. Okay, that's the one we want. That is the one we want. Hang on, there we go. So, left, left, fire. There it is. Six shame, but also had a synergy going for it as well. With the pitch fork, pitch perfect. But we have no ammo for it anymore. It's no problem though. In theory, at the very least. First of all, we're gonna buy a key because there's a big chest, and needless to say that I want that. And we just have to wait for another ammo drop to happen. Which will happen eventually. Oh, that's the, the grass chopper. That's the, the men in black weapon. I don't even think it's that good, but I'm gonna try it out regardless, just for a room or so. Now, we have stolen that item, and we have also gotten a curse for that item just for having it. Feeds upon curse. Okay, we have a lot of curse, so whatever you're doing, you're probably gonna do a lot for us. All the artifacts that led to the creation of the gemmed. As the curses grow louder, Caliber smiles upon the bearer of this portentous omen. Whatever that means, here's me hoping for the best. Oh. That guy is sturdy. That guy's also pretty, pretty hard to kill. But that's fine. We're gonna try and use that one later on the line against the boss, maybe. Found a key, though, that's very, very nice. Oh, that's actually cool. Usually those guys can catch your bullet and throw them right back in your face. But they can't do that with beans, which is very, very nice. 
the Demonette doing God's work here for us. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's not forget that we do have the Daruman here. And that we should absolutely do make an honest to god effort out of using it at least on occasion, just for a chance to find the occasional secret room. Follow our chest over here immediately. And that is the Hegemony Rifle. I don't like that one. I didn't even know it was a green chest item, I think. I think that is a pretty, pretty mediocre item. But I will make the most of it. I got hit. Because that's what I do. That's how I do business. More enemy spawning. There is a key for a cell door. Which means another NPC that we can free to hopefully advance our overall game state for future runs. Maybe some kind of shopkeeper. Maybe some kind of NPC that can then pop up in future runs. My god, this thing is so imprecise. It's crazy. It's actually insane. But that's fine. Not a fan of those small blob new lawns over here. We're gonna show them a good time. We gotcha. We gotcha. Oh, there's a challenge room over here. Alright, my guy. What kind of crazy challenge do you have in mind? We put forth that an ace such as thee could never clear this forthcoming room. Using naught but this clubbing. I think that's a very bad pistol. Prove thee can, and we will reward thee handsomely. In return, we shall pass from thee 22 shells. Yeah, sure, yeah. All right, the Clobby. Okay, you know what? It's actually far less bad than I thought it was. I had another gun in mind, but I don't remember which one. Oh yeah, it's still pretty, pretty bad overall, at least from what it looks like. The damage could be definitely a bit higher. The reload charge speed looks pretty, pretty low. Oh man, this thing actually doesn't deal any damage. That's actually insane. We got hit again. My god, these girls are sturdy. Crazy. At least we got a key out of that. But still. Alright, here we go. Oh ho, the victory turns. And to the victor, the spoils. Now, what is it? Something for you. Yes, the Winchester. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm not sure if it's the reward I was hoping for. But hey, we take what we can get our hands on, right? That guy died. We just take what we can get and make the most out of it. I mean, it's getting the job done. We're killing fools, left and right. We're of relative ease, if I might say so myself. Ah, oh, we're living on half HP. Literally half HP now. That is a little bit of a problem. There's a jammed enemy. There's a lot of jammed enemies. There's a lot of enemies in here. I'm not going to mentally say goodbye to this run before it ends. But even if we were to end up dying right here, right now. I would still feel pretty, pretty okay about our performance overall. Considering how long I haven't played this game, I had to blink that. Considering how long I haven't played this game, I think I made it pretty, pretty far. I remember when I started playing this game for the first few times, I was not able to do anything. Even defeating the first boss, no matter which one it was, proved to be fatally problematic. Okay, we got through it. I wish we would find a shop because God knows I need some HP. I also want to find the room where the NPC is in. Okay, that's the boss. We don't want to fight the boss right now. 
Oh my god. Got these jokers. Got that joker as well. Oh my god. That <laughs> jam guy running at me actually scared me there for a moment. Okay, we're safe here. We got that guy out. Are you the last one? Are my mimic over there going to town? Like crazy. You know, I think we have taken the little guy a little bit for granted. He is doing very, very good for us. Good. Great. There's a chest. Has some gold. Has a plague pistol. I don't hate it. It's not exactly good. It's not bad either. Fires pretty, pretty fast. Gives me some poison damage. You know what else I would like to see? An actual ammo drop so we can actually use our pitchfork again. Because I want to know what's up with that synergy. Okay, we found a new black, which is nice because we used one earlier. And that is actually a great gun. Ah, that guy, he wants to buy some horror stuff. The barrel is actually an amazing gun. So I make a wild guess and say that the cage. Hello! The cage is probably gonna be behind the shop. From the way. Ooh, I was not trusting that at all. From the way the floor lineup looks, that's probably gonna be the case. Where is he? No! Ooh! I heard him. I did see him. Okay, he's stunned for a moment. Can we keep him stunned like this? Yeah, boy. Lovely. We got another blank, too. Found the shop. And he actually doesn't have HP for sale. Are you kidding me, man? That's actually a tragedy. Okay, first of all, pitchfork. There we go. We're gonna buy the armor as well, just because survival is fun. And we have the key, but there is no cage in here. Is that behind the boss? Can it happen? Will be the first time I'm ever seeing that one. But sure, let's see. Okay, this is actually green now, I just realized that. And it is the warmonger. We should be okay. We have plenty of blanks. And we have our Daruma. It doesn't seem like this is dealing all that much damage still. But I'm gonna ride this out until I can no more. Don't trust this. Halfway through. Oh, nope, not trusting those at all. Nah! I lost our armor. And I actually ran to it by accident. No! Now we will never know what we could have unlocked with that key. Ah, sorry Mr. NPC man. But we did our best. It was a fun run guys. Thank you still for watching. And yeah, if you want to see more of this, let me know. Because I'm having fun with this game. Until then, thanks for watching. Have the greatest of days. Please stay as awesome as you are.